But there's my beautiful wife Tammy, my uh, Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan. I'm going to shoot a quick clip here uh, that I think will help a lot of people out if you ever get in a bad situation. I'm going to show you how you can uh, break up a pair of dogs fighting uh, rather quickly, especially if you have a dog locked on to another dog. It's way more effective than using a, a brake stick. It's uh, a lot more effective than kicking or punching uh, the biting dog. Uh, th th this, will, this will break them apart in a matter of seconds. I learned this as an animal warden. I was an animal warden for over two decades. I've used it dozens and dozens of times in the field uh, on all kinds of dogs from pit bulls to mastiffs, uh, various things. I'm going to demonstrate this here and I hope again uh, to anybody if you ever, uh, God forbid, get in a situation where you need to use this, now you'll have a tool in your arsenal that will help you out. One of the things you'll notice in my videos is I always keep a flexible collar on my dogs. Now again, if you ever have a fight involving your dog, why don't you get a little closer to me so that people can see. And let's say Kurgan is locked on to another dog. You slide your hand up underneath the collar like this. You lift the dog's front legs off the ground and at the same time you twist this collar high up under the neck here. And I'm not going to do it to him hard because again, it, it'll make him pass out if I do. You lift up and you twist and you hold them up off the ground. The dog, it creates a blood choke. You often see it in like the UFC or wrestling, you know, when people put somebody in the sleeper hold. You're not cutting off the uh, air supply. What you're doing is you're cutting off the carotid arteries and restricting the flow of blood to the brain. And it just takes a matter of seconds before uh, the dog passes out. Again, it's much safer than trying to stick a brake stick in the dog's mouth or kicking or punching the dog and having the dog turn on you. This way, you, again, you just stick your hand up underneath, you lift up, crank, and twist, and, and the dog will pass out in seconds. You don't want to hold this too long because you can easily kill a dog doing this. If you hold it on too long, you know, again, you're restricting the blood flow to the brain. But in a life or death situation, if you have a dog locked on to you, or onto your dog. This is a life-saving move that uh, I've never seen anybody uh, demonstrate online. Again, I was trained to do it as an animal warden. Uh, I, I was an animal warden for two decades. I have lots and lots of experience using this. I dealt with all kinds of fighting dogs on the job, uh, various fights in the field. Super, super effective. I hope uh, that helps you out uh, if you ever need to know that uh, and have to use that. Again, you want to pull it so it's high up underneath the, uh, the chin and behind the ears while you do it. Now, if you run into a situation where the biting dog does not have a collar, you can use a leash, you can whip off your belt, anything around the neck pulled up tight and twisted right up under here is going to cut off the carotid arteries that's where they're close to the surface is up by the ears there it's going to cut off the carotid arteries and make them pass out i always recommend you always keep a, a collar on your dogs and your kennel and you always have tags on your dogs you know as an animal warden i can tell you 50 percent of the dogs that are found without tags never reach it to their owners uh, of those 50 percent 50 percent of those are euthanized so, uh, you know, be a responsible owner. Always keep a collar and tags on your dog. A collar always gives you a tool if you have a fight uh, between your dogs to uh, break that fight up in seconds. Again, uh, this is a helpful tip, I hope. Take care. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye from me, Bye, guys. the beautiful Tammy, who didn't want to be on film because she just got off of work, but I still <laughs> think she looks beautiful. And uh, my buddy Kurgan who's uh, 32 inches, uh, 120 pounds. He's pretty massive. He's a blue bay shepherd. Take care. Bye.